Nation here with Leonard Hamilton, head coach of the FSU basketball team. How's uh, preseason about preseason camp been going, coach? Well, we've been pleased with our effort and, and the attitudes and uh, just the camaraderie that seems to be building. Uh, we uh, have a long ways to go. Uh, we're making progress. Uh, like uh, what I see, I think this team will be an improved team over last year. Uh, I like the quality of our depth, uh, we, but we're still trying to implement our system and get it down. And, uh, these guys have shown some potential from a talent standpoint, but we're still working hard trying to get it all together. You brought in, I mean, a very talented recruiting class. How have they kind of been fitting in so far? Well, they, they, their attitudes are great. They're working. They, they're notable talent. Uh, they're blending in very well. I, I, I also, I think, though, the strength of this team is the fact that we have some matured veterans. Uh, Ojo and, and Phil are, are returning, along with Brandon Allen. Those are three guys we didn't have last year that have been with us now for a number of years, along with X and, and, and Jacquez. And then our sophomores, uh, uh, they learned a lot last year. We weren't quite ready to, to, to overcome some of those close games we lost last year with them. But the infusion of our new players and, and the energy that they bring to the table, along with their talent and their willingness and the leadership that the older guys have given us, uh, I think that that's a good uh, uh, combination. Who's really been stepping up as the mentors to those new guys helping them get acclimated? Well, I think that in order to be uh, a good leader, you got to have good followers. And I think it's a combination of guys listening, the, older guy, the younger guys listening, and following directions. I think all of the veterans uh, have an input and make an impression on, on, on the young guys. So I, I, it's hard to single out any one particular person at the time from a leadership standpoint because I think it's a team effort. Have you seen improved chemistry so far this year? The chemistry is, 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 was, was pretty good last year, just that we were so young and inexperienced that uh, there were a lot of situations that we just had, had not been accustomed to. Just to sometimes three games in a week uh, was, was more challenging for, for some of our young guys. Now that they've been through it enough, uh, I think it's going to be they're going to be much more prepared, and I think we have a different uh, uh, group of guys that are coming in that are new. Uh, they're a little more battle tested, probably a little farther along from a maturity standpoint. Two junior college players, uh, two real matured uh, point guards, very talented. A guy like Jonathan Isaac, uh, who who has a different approach to the game, and Fiondu is, is a youngster that's, that's that's learning and growing. So I think the combination of experience. Hungry guys, talented young guys who are eager to learn and grow uh, makes for a good combination. What do you think is the strength of this team right now? The strength of this team is in the, is in, is in the quality of our depth. That we can uh, play more people, sustain our energy for longer periods of time. That's what we think we will be. Last year, uh, there were certain positions that uh, I thought we, we had, we were forced to take certain possessions off because we just didn't have the, the rotation in, in every position. I think this year we, we've improved in those areas and just so we can keep people fresher and, and we can be stronger at the end of the games. Was that something that you went out of your way to seek out in getting a bigger recruiting class to help? To well, I, we, you, you always try to you know, fill your needs and that was a need of ours and, and we're very fortunate. Our staff, our staff did a great job of, of bringing guys in that they thought fit what we wanted to do. With, with Dwayne and his shot, is he, is he kind of, did he go in the offseason and really work that from the ground up and completely change it? Dwayne worked very hard to improve his, his, his shooting mechanics, but, I, I, but I, I can say that about every player that's returning. Everybody has worked real hard to improve in, the, in those areas of the game that they thought they, they were a little weak in. And so uh, Dwayne has worked very hard, and I thought he's, he's encouraged some of his teammates, and they all have worked very hard, but Dwayne has really improved his perimeter shooting. How big is it really, you mentioned it in passing, to have Michael Ojo and Phil Kofer back there in the front court? Well, obviously, they are two most experienced physical guys who have started the year before. And not having them in the rotation, I thought, was, was a tremendous void for us. Uh, but I think they're coming back eager and hungry, and uh, I'm encouraged by what I see with them, from them. Is there a part of the team, do you think, where has the most room for improvement right now? Well, you know, it's too early to, it's too early to tell right now. You know, we haven't played anybody, and so it's important that we <clears throat> Continue to keep working on. I think as a staff, we know what we need to work on. Uh, we just got to keep getting better every day. Every day, you want to try to be a little better than you were the day before. You see the team? Uh, are they kind of ready to eager, anxious to play somebody not garnet and gold? Well, here again, this is the time of year. This is our 13 or 14 practice, and everybody's interested and anxious to go play someone else. But in reality, we still got a lot, a lot of learning to go, a lot of learning to do. We got a lot of uh, work, a lot of uh, systems. 
uh, stuff that we're still trying to work on. So we're not quite there yet and ready to play. Thanks, Leonard. All right.